Hi guys, my name is Vader Johnson's Toy Chest. Welcome to the channel. Guys, today I'm going to be doing a special on Guys, once again, before we start, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Thank you for your support in my channel. Guys, I love this film and I've got something to come through today and I'm so happy. I want to share it with you guys. So guys, please, like I said, hit the subscribe button. Thank you. So guys, as I was saying, this is about Masters of the Universe. Now guys, this film was a hit and a miss. For those people who didn't like it, for me, I absolutely loved it. And William Statt has released some great toys for me. And I've been dying to get two figures for such a long time. And there's a little bit of a story behind it, guys, and I will share that with you. But guys, you know, there's some great characters in this film. As you can see, they are those they are some really great characters. So guys, for ages and ages and ages now in my collection, I have had these beautiful figures. And they are absolutely beautiful. This is my own little section. It's away from the rest of the He-Man. Now there is a gold version of this, guys, but I've not got the gold version. The arc, the arc, the movement in the arms is great. I mean, I don't, like I said, guys, I don't play these or nothing. These are just on display. But like I said, there is a gold version of this, General Karg. But I just love this figure. I think he's absolutely awesome. So that's that one there, guys. You've got this figure here as well. He's absolutely beautiful. He has got his laser gun on his side there. So these are great characters, guys. Now, one of my biggest regrets, guys, is he actually didn't release the Beast Man. Um, I was really, really upset about that. Um, I'm hoping he'll go back to this line and hopefully revisit it because he can release some of the um, Skeletor's guards as well. That'd be pretty awesome. But as you can see, guys, these are in mint condition. I mean, look at the detail on his face. I absolutely love these figures. So this is probably my favourite one, guys. I've done this one in the videos before. And it's Blade. I think he's absolutely beautiful. And this is definitely my favourite of this line. He's got his two big swords there. And it's just, it's just you know, it's just... <laughs> I just absolutely love these guys, you know what I mean? I can't, I can't say it enough. These are great in any toy collection, but I'm so happy that I've got them in my collection. So guys, this is a little bit of a story. As you know, um, it was an iconic figure, Skeletor is. And when these were first released, guys, that they released this one, God Skeletor, the gold one. And I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So, I rushed out to get this version of the Skeletor from the William Statt um, selection. <clears throat> and I, I, I don't regret getting him one bit, because I know he's, he's quite a sought after name himself anyway. But he's, he's not as hard to get as the Black Skeletor. Now, guys, this is where the story comes in. Because, like I said, I rushed out to get this fella. Look at him, guys. Just look at him. Absolutely beautiful. So I rushed out to get that filler, 
thinking that the black skeletal no one's going to be really interested in but you know, it turned out I was wrong and I was wrong in a big way um, and, the, and another, another gutting part of the story is, is I had the chance to pick up the black skeletal for £50 um, ages ago in one of the toy groups and I, I just let it go because like I said I didn't think it'd be so sought after but anyway guys <laughs> After so long for searching and digging through different toy groups and all that, I finally it came up on eBay. Now, I don't like really doing eBay no more because I class it as Evil Bay. But I hope I, I finally bit the bullet. <laughs> uh, so this is from... Where did I get this from? Prime Time Toys. There you go, guys. There's the leaflet if anyone wants to look them up. Prime Time Toys. So, let's go. This is what it's called. It's the Dark Disc Point Skeletor. And trust me, these will be open, guys. Because, I, like I said, I've got my own film display for Masters of the Universe. Oh, my God. I can't believe I finally have you. So there it is, guys. There is my... Finally got the black costume skeleton. There's your lead uh, on the back there. Now, like I said, guys, I'm really, really gutted that he didn't release um, to Beast Man. I'm hoping, I really hope he's going to go back because the details on these figures are absolutely immense and are absolutely oh it's, it's, they're just great I, if i was to sell all my he-man figures i would keep the movie ones most definitely so that that is the he-man that's the skeleton guys sorry so guys i also the other one i needed um was the rebel leader it's not the rebel leader though is it really but the, the the Rebel Commander, and it was the He-Man, played by Dolph Lundgren. And there he is. And again, this one will be coming out of its packet. So I will show you what they look like after they come out of their packets, guys. I'm just showing you now. He's absolutely awesome. And there's the artwork on the back for him as well, which is really cool. So guys, they've also got Gwildor. Now, I've got Gwildor in the 1980s version. He's just up there. I do need and I will get him the William Stout version of, or the Classics version of Gildor. I don't know if he's actually by William Stout, that one. I think William Stout just done the main figures, but I will get the Gildor. The detail on that Gildor is absolutely immense and he's going to be in my collection. I will pick him up at one of the toy fairs, no doubt. So guys, I'm going to go away and quickly open these and then I'm going to be back to you. So guys, welcome back. They are both open guys and they are beautiful figures. So let's start off with the iconic He-Man. Guys, check this guy out. The cape, the beautiful red cape. The art condition of his arms and that are beautiful. His legs, you know, the well, he does bend. But I'm not going to fool some guys. This is a brand new figure, so it's a bit stiff. But it's just absolutely awesome. Ugh. I can't wait to have it on display. I've been waiting to get these for so long now, guys. Honestly. I wish I would have just snapped them up when I first came out. But I, I, back then, I didn't really like spending a lot of money. Now I'm a bit more flexible because I'm really enjoying my toy collecting. And what it's took, the life it's taken me away from, guys, is uh, amazing. So look at this guy. He's absolutely beautiful. I don't know why people don't like the movie, but for me, I just it's one of my childhood favourites. Same as Transformers the movie. You know, these are iconic. Look at him, guys. Welcome to the collection, Mr. He-Man. So, guys, let's go back to the most sought after now of the lot of them. It's the Black Despot Skeletor. He does come with his staff as well. There's his staff. But that'll probably just be put away. And I'll, just, I'll keep this one with the sword. And I'll have the gold arm and skeleton. Again, guys, the arms move nicely. 
this one's got a this this is not a um cotton cloak like which is a bit surprising as it is on the he-man but it's still nice all the same it'll look lovely on display i'm skeletor <laughs> so let's do a little comparison of before and after so there you go guys there's the black skeletor and the gold skeletor for me i still i still prefer the gold skeletor i don't know about you guys leave your thoughts in the comments but um these are just beautiful beautiful figures and i'm so glad to start off 2022 on such a high because i ended last year on a pretty bad one i've got a few missing parcels and i'm a bit annoyed with royal mail because i've still got other stuff outstanding as well i'm still fighting for them but these are beautiful guys so guys i hope you've enjoyed my masters of the universe movie figures um as much as i've enjoyed showing them again guys please hit the subscribe button um all the, all the hits and likes it all helps the channel and i really want to succeed and you know just share my stuff with you so guys thank you very much this is vader trons toy chess signing out thank you bye The Sword of Omens, safe in the hands of Lion O, Lord of the Thundercats, fighting to keep it from Mumra, whose wicked eyes light up with a secret ring. Thundercats take to the Thunder Tank, transforming to resist the evil mutants. Who will win, good or evil? Now you can decide. Thundercats by Rainbow Toys.